Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I lost the footage for my intro, but if you would like to see this look, then I will obviously be showing you how to create this look using my Shan XO palette, so just keep tuned. I'll be starting off on my eyeballs. I'm grabbing my eyeshadow primer. And then I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into this color right here. Actually, I'm gonna go into this dark brown color right there and I want to put that into my outer corners and my crease. This is a very dark brown shade. Might as well just put this basically on all over my lids. And then I'm gonna grab this color right here and just pat that onto my lids. This is a really nice neutral pink shade. And then I'm gonna go back into that dark brown shade and just define the outer edges a little bit. Yeah, that's originally what I was trying to do, and then I messed up. And then I'm gonna use this light nude shade right here. I'm going to lay this product on my brow bone. I'm just using it to diffuse the colors that I put on already. And then I'm going to grab some of that dark brown shade and I'm gonna grab my small precision brush and I'm just going to line my lower lash line. And then I'm going to grab a fluffy brush and just blend out that lower lash line. And then I'm going to take my brown Smashbox liner and I'm going to line my eyes. I'm going to do this top and bottom. I'm going to line my lashes with my Volumizing Mascara from e.l.f. This is a light coverage. It doesn't give too much oomph, but it gives me more definition to my eyelashes. I've been really liking more of a natural mascara lately. On to my skin. Actually, let's go on my brows. I've gotten this somewhat routine down and it's been a little bit too dark, I think. Possibly, maybe. So I'm just gonna brush out my brows like normal. <sighs> and I have shaped my brows a little bit. And then I'm gonna grab my brow pencil. This is from Maybelline. It's a brow duo. It's too red if I use both sides of the duo. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the pencil side and I'm going to fill in my brows a little bit. And then I'm going to grab my little brush again on this side and brush it out. And then I'm gonna go in with my Elizabeth Mott brow gel. This is literally my favorite brow gel of all time. I'm just going to put that into my brows, trying to be careful to keep them within the brow area, but I'm not being careful about like how much I put, how clumpy it is, because now I'm going to go back into my brow brush and I'm going to brush it out. I'm still getting the hang of it, but this is just what I'm doing so far. Now I'm going into my MAC Prep and Prime base. It's a skin primer, I guess, and I got this as a sample with a gift that I received from my best friend, Lene. Thank you, Lene. This stuff is really nice. It feels moisturizing. It feels different from all the other primers that I use. When I want full coverage for my face, I mix my Clinique Even Better Foundation and my Rainforest Under the Sea. Rainforest of the Sea foundation from Tarte. I'm going to do that today. I'm just adding a couple drops of the Rainforest foundation. Then I'm adding a couple drops of my Clinique foundation. And the reason why I'm mixing this is that I need to use up my Clinique foundation. And I'm just going to take the back of a brush and mix these together. My hands are clean. So that's why I don't feel bad for using my fingers. 
and I'm already starting to get tan. So the foundation may or may not match me perfectly anymore. You know how you improve your makeup game every few months? You know, you're always learning. Like, I'm always learning. I always feel like I'm learning something new and improving my makeup application or whatnot. And so I feel like last summer my foundation didn't match me perfectly. And that was kind of frustrating. I remember being frustrated and not understanding why. So this season I might be able to figure it out. I might end up getting something that matches me better. I'm just using my Instant Age Rewinds today for coverage. And I'm gonna blend that out with I'm going to use my little It Cosmetics brush. This is a foundation brush. It's in a little travel set that I got at Ulta quite a while ago. If you ever use a brush like this, you have to be really careful not to swipe because that is what leaves major streaks in your foundation. You need to be patting the foundation, the liquids. But also it needs to be really tiny patting motions or else it can look really bad. Really you can use any setting powder. This is my powder of choice. I've had this for quite a while now. I feel like I need to use it up first before I go on to anything else. I personally do not like the highlighting under and above the brow bone. So I am skipping that today for blush and I'm going to go really neutral with my blush. I'm going in with the Milani Romantic Rose. This is their powder blush and I am going to use my e.l.f. blush brush and I'm going to put that on my cheeks. I've actually been really enjoying not contouring at all on my cheeks and just letting the blush do its business. So I think I'm going to do that today as well. I think I really like that. Just having the blush on my cheeks is really nice. So I'm going to go back into my Shanexo palette, but I'm going to go to the lipstick side. I'm actually, I think I would like to wear this color right here. So I'm going to grab a lip brush, this lip brush right here. It is clean, it's just stained from all the lipsticks that I used. The very first time I used this, I did not realize that I needed to clean it right away, so I kind of just wiped it off a little bit and it was not good. I really like this lipstick. This shade is a lot more pigmented than some of the other shades I've tried. For makeup artistry purposes, I think having a lipstick in a pan is good. But for everyday purposes, I'm still not sure what I think about this. I feel like I'm going to use way more lipstick in a pan than if I did if I just swiped it on my lips. But I could be wrong. So this is the completed look guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you really liked it, share it with your friends. And subscribe if you like to see videos from me on a regular basis. I hope that you guys have an awesome week and a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye!